And now I would like to welcome once more uh, Mr. Tsipras, Alexis Tsipras, Prime Minister of uh, Greece, who is with us here today and who will share his experience with us about the implementation of the SDGs in Greece. And Mr. Tsipras, we are very pleased to have you here today and it shows your commitment to health, to universal health and to uh, coverage and uh, primary health care. So, Mr. Uh, Prime Minister Tsipras, you have the floor. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Director General of uh, the World Health Organization, I would like to warmly thank you, all of you, for your invitation to speak today at uh, the annual European General Assembly of the World Health Organization. An organization that uh, has the crucial global role in the protection of the health of the world population uh, at a time of great global and regional challenges. It's uh, an honor but also a great responsibility to represent Greece here today. A country of the European Union that found itself at the epicenter of two of the most important challenges of our time, the economic crisis and the refugee and uh, migrant crisis. Two crises that uh, the international community was not ready for. Two crises that uh, led us, particularly in Europe, to a great dilemma. Do we confront the challenges of our time through solidarity, respect of human dignity and international law? Or do we decide that the best choice is to protect only our own nation and leave all the other choices to the markets? My country chose the first path, which is also the only path that allows Europe to have a common future. We were hit hard in the field of health by the economic crisis and the austerity measures that were imposed on us, as well as the large number of migrants that entered Greece. But we decided that the only way to protect and support society was to strengthen universal health care and at the same time to try our best so that uh, all vulnerable groups, including immigrants, had access to it. Greece is a country that is going to great lengths in order to heal the wounds of its citizens from the harsh austerity measures of these last eight years. Measures that have undoubtedly affected the level of health and health care of the citizens of Greece. Today I feel I'm speaking here on behalf of all citizens of the European Union who support its founding principles. European citizens who believe that investing in health means protecting human dignity and social equality and cohesion against those who want to weaken the social welfare key and who believe that health care should be a privilege for only those who can afford it. Against those who believe, who believe that health care should be a privilege only for the citizens of the country, but not for the immigrants living in it. 
But as you say here in the World Health Organization, health is not just the lack of illness or disability, but the state of full physical and psychological and social well-being. The promotion of health and healthcare services is a fundamental human and social right. It is not only a question of good healthcare services, but a question of comprehensive policies that prevent the social and economic causes of poor health and illness. Causes like poverty and social exclusion, lack of decent living conditions or poor diet. And this is why what we need is health policy whose priority is supporting weak and vulnerable groups aiming at decreasing inequalities. Let us not forget that inequalities contravene the fundamental principles of the World Health Organization and the Alma Ata Declaration of uh, Health Care for All. In Greece, having experienced in a traumatic way the consequences of austerity policies in the field of public uh, health care and, and the welfare state, we have been promoting an alternative political program in the last two years based on the following, universal coverage of the population, bias in favor of the public health care system, improvement of management in the health care system, eradicating the passive privatization of the health care system and uh, burden on citizens through out-of-pocket payments, reforming primary health care, giving more emphasis to the rights of patients. This is our, our response to the crisis in the healthcare system, to inequalities in access, and to the negative trends in the healthcare of the population, particularly in a period of higher risk and uh, multiple challenges to health. Despite the asymmetry between uh, pressing needs and uh, available resources, and uh, despite budgetary restrictions, we have made important steps in this direction by redistributing public expenses and combining uh, resources for, from the state budget and social insurance, we have succeeded in the following. First, we have ensured the universal, free, and equal access of uh, uninsured citizens to the public health care system. In this way, we have finally closed the period of health care healthcare poverty in our country, fulfilling the goal of the World uh, Health Organization and the EU that uh, no one should be left behind. Second, we supported and stabilized the public health care system. We increased the percentage of public expenses to GDP from 4.7% in 2015 and 5.1% uh, in 2016-17. We filled many empty doctor and nurse positions in hospitals. We improved the function and uh, the effectiveness of public institutions. We improve transparency as well as public accountability in management. We invested in the development of human resources. We protected, protected the scientific and uh, professional integrity of uh, young doctors and were trying to reverse the brain drain. Third, we confronted the problems of corruption and uh, wastefulness in the health system. Fourth, we ensured reliable health care to thousands of refugees and immigrants, including through 
the vaccination of children through ensuring that the refugee crisis would not lead to a problem of public health and through strengthening the culture of solidarity in the Greek society. Fifth, we promoted reforms in the healthcare system that were pending for decades. The most important were the reform of primary health care that is now being organized on the basis of the centralized structures and uh, the strengthening of the institution of the family doctor. And here I would like to underline that uh, the technical support and contribution of the European branch of the World Health Organization in reforming primary health care was extremely valuable. Sixth, we facilitated the access of patients to the necessary innovative medicine, confronting a problem that has existed for many years in Greece in evaluating pharmaceutical innovation and negotiating affordable prices for expensive medicine where necessary. Of course, of course there are very important steps to be taken in order to correct the mistakes of the past and to build a modern healthcare system in Greece. We need many more reforms and difficult measures, but at the same time, we need a global understanding that protecting healthcare and human dignity, meeting the sustainable development goals, is not a privilege or a luxury. And this is something that all international institutions have to understand. It is one of the most important tools we have in order to confront the challenges of our age. And I know very well that uh, the World Health Organization is an ally and will be an ally in this effort. And that's why I warmly thank you for the work we are doing in this direction and for your support to my country and uh, to my government's efforts. Thank you very much.